video one guys we promised you dino day so uh, along with the modifications we had uh, Jeremy and the guys do a tuning on the dino well not just on the dino we did a dino tune we also did a street tune and uh, so it's a little bit more to do both but it's well worth it one of the things I learned about the dino was that it's only rated for cars that weigh 3200 pounds and the uh, ZL1 weighs about 3,800 pounds. So we also had to do the street tune. Um, we also had to put it on the dyno because, as I told you guys before, we put the flex fuel sensor in there so we could run E85. And we also uh, have the methanol being injected. I got a certain, it's basically a certain air volume that hits. Uh, Jeremy has it set up so the meth will spray. And um, there we go, a whole bunch more power. So we did uh, about four or five dyno runs, and we're going to cut them down to the, to the best parts of it because, I mean, uh, who can't watch a dyno all day? But anyways, um, four or five dyno runs, and we did them kind of one after, uh, after the other. Uh, I told Jeremy that I really wasn't looking for one quarter mile shot down the drag strip just to see how fast it could go in a quarter mile and then be done. So heat was a big issue. So we did our dyno test back to back to back like that to see how the car handled the heat, how the tunes uh, would react when it, was, uh, when it was getting pretty warm. I mean, yes, we did have some cool down. Obviously, when you're spinning the tires up at over 130 miles an hour and there's no airflow, even though we had the fans, there was some cool down. But it wasn't like when we did with Proven Power where we gave the car a whole bunch of time to cool down so we could just constantly see how that one shot was. So. We did, uh, did four dyno, dyno runs. Here's the uh, here's the best of the dyno runs, and uh, I'll give you guys. Uh, we did four dyno runs, then we did a street tune. Um, first thing on the street tune, man, can Jeremy drive? I was introduced to the no lift shift, and that was amazing. Basically, he kept his foot down on the gas pedal all the way to the floor. And he just put a little bit of pressure on the on the gear shift, and then just tapped that clutch. And boom, he was like, that man can shift that car. Uh, it really was it was amazing to watch, and almost a little depressing, uh, being that it was my car and this guy could drive it better. So he um, he he shifted that car so incredibly quick, it was amazing. But we got to do the street tune as well. Uh, we didn't get video of the of the street tune only because it was uh, pretty late at night and just the GoPro doesn't do well in dark situations but um, and and actually we had to kind of tune the uh, Jeremy had a tune um, it was running I believe it was running lean on the lower side and rich on the higher side of the uh, of the power band so we had to kind of correct all of that um, and to give you guys the final numbers that uh, that we had I've actually got right here so uh, without E85 she made um, 660 horsepower to the wheel and 712 torque with the e85 680 horsepower and 730 torque it's just like i said before the car went from being fast but very very smooth and a lot and now it's just violently fast especially when when the, you can feel the methanol hit. I mean, your head's already back into the seat and you can feel the methanol hit. Now, uh, kind of a little funnier thing is, is Jeremy says that this was a, uh, a small, uh, small upgrade, small modifications. He feels that in a quarter mile, the car can probably do 135. And he said he personally, uh, he just loves his cars to be over to 140 miles an hour in a quarter mile. You know, maybe we'll work on that. Who knows? My birthday is coming up. So all you family members out there, if you want to donate to the Florida Fund Z01 uh, modification cause, I have a PayPal account. And before we start the dyno videos, you know what day tomorrow is? What day is tomorrow? I'm not going to tell you, but there's a clue. Well, open the box. I don't want to open the box. Open the box. No, I'm not going to open the box. Open the box. What's in the box? What's in the box? It's the boo box. Dun, dun, dun. You'll have to wait till tomorrow's video. Alright, bye guys. I hope you enjoy the dino videos.
That sounded mean. That was loud.
different.